Y'all know I did a video about Kim Bella posting a picture with a, you know, a, well, at the the surgeon's office where she got some work done, even though she was about to get put out the house. But again, it's about priority. She was prioritizing, making sure that, you know, her assets were looking big and round and look good and whatever uh, dress or jeans that she's wearing. Was good, Felipe? Philip. Can't say those names right. But um priorities, people, priorities. I you know, I don't think Kim Bella thought that it would get to this point. I think that she always thought that Jewels would handle everything financially and she would be able to, you know, live the lifestyle she wanted. First off, why are you living in a mansion when you're not making money like that? Unless you're on the road constantly. This is how these rappers get paid, man. They, a lot of these guys are on the road constantly. At least, or, or at least they should. Because that show money is good money. You know? Um, because musically, you're probably not making a lot of money. They're making money, but the record label got to get theirs. The writers, producers got to get theirs. Then you get yours. And... I did that video. Did y'all know that there were people that were that were angry about that video? Like they were all in on defending the fact that she spent the church's money. Now nah, she spent money to get work done instead of getting them bills paid. Instead of moving out the mansion and getting downsizing to something smaller. But because Jewel's has been trying to give her a lifestyle that will keep her around. You put yourself in a hole financially to where you're going to jail. So what's she going to do? You think she's going to pay bills? Bruh, she's not going to pay bills. As a matter of fact, she's going to take that money and she's going to get some work done. Shout out to Shy. Red Pill Football Team. Salute to Jay. Salute to you, man. Like the stream, people. She spent the money on herself making sure she looks good for the next guy that comes along. Because trust and believe, Joelle's, she's dealing with other dudes. I hope you understand this. But it's due to understand their role in her life. Women deal with men, if they, even if they, they could be married, they could be in a long-term relationship. There's always, if they look the way Kimbella does, they're going to have men on the side who they can utilize when need be. And that's what's going on in this situation. That's why she has to keep the body looking a certain way. What's good, Lena? Shout out to all the new people in the chat if you know. You know what I'm saying? Now, Joel's is, he, there's nothing he can do. He already lost a condo that he had, and he lost this house. Bad financial management. You know that you're not making money maybe the way you used to, so you stay in the mansion. Knowing full well that at some point the money's gonna pop because see they were paying what sixty five hundred a month, which to them you would think is not a lot of money, right? There are celebrities, you know, he's a rapper, she's on reality TV. You would have thought that she would have been able to flip those opportunities and make money. She has not. Like most of them chicks, they don't flip those opportunities, they're relying on those checks. This is why you see those females on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood while and not the way they are. Marriage is being destroyed. Relationships being destroyed. Look at what's going on with Ray J. Look at what's going on with Ray J and his wife. Trust and believe that will be put into a storyline on the next season. So this is why if you're Jewels, you have to have better financial planning. You know you're going to be going away. You know that she ain't going to be able to take care of that that. That, uh, that place financially your kids are going to be having to be basically homeless because the woman that you're having them with ain't making no money on, uh, on her own if she is she's spending on herself and you you're not making the money you used to but you're still trying to hold on to something that they've been telling you for almost a year to get out of because they've literally been calling Joel's and Kim Bella squatters which is embarrassing, you know, but he's trying to give her the lifestyle that he think is going to keep her around. But, bro, now that she, you done lost the house, do you think she's going to stay around? You in jail? I'm pretty sure she ain't lonely. 
She can put up as many pictures about you as she wants. She's only doing that so she can keep up the storyline for Loving Hip Hop New York. <clears throat> Shout out to Shy. I support Mario and the Ray J Red Pill Mindset. Before you go to a surgeon and get work done on your body, you need to think about where your kids going to lay their head at. Because if you don't even know where you're going to stay, you've been forced to leave this place. You haven't made any plans to move to this. Maybe you have now, but it took you a year for you to do that. Now she out here by herself. People know she got financial issues. How many you know, uh, sharks you think are in the water, man. How many of these dudes who are your friends who are cool with you are not hitting her up? And I'm, and, and honestly though, she seems like one of those females that's very easily impressed, very easily impressed. And, and let one of these rappers who she listens to, you know, who she's always wanted to meet, let them hit her up, you know? And again, this is a situation of living off these rappers to the point to where when the money runs dry, what you going to do then, especially if you have kids by this guy, you're going to hit him for child support. Y'all married. So you can't do that. <laughs> you know, you can't really separate from him because you need a storyline for loving hip hop. So it's almost as if she's in a situation where she secured a situation with loving hip hop. But what after that? Any woman that's concerned with how big her asset it is, is a woman that you can't trust, bro. Because what is she looking good for? Obviously, she's not monetizing that. Um, she's not monetizing um, that two million audience that she has, you know, the way she should be. Yeah, make sure y'all get the likes up, man. You know, there's a lot of hurt feelings. That are why I told y'all, whenever I speak about uh, Kim Bella, there's a lot of people, not a lot, there are some people that don't like it. They don't like to hear the truth. This is the truth, man. This is the truth. This is an L for Joel's because one, he's in jail. And two, he's lost the condo and he's lost the mansion. And he's probably going to lose his girl. But people don't want to hear that. But th this is the truth. So no matter how much you don't want to hear that, you're going to hear it. The only reason why she's still attached to him is because of that storyline for Love and Hip Hop New York. You don't have to like it, but it's the truth. Okay? It's the truth. If there was no storyline to be had, she would not have walked down the aisle with this guy. That wasn't going to happen. But she knows Joel's financially ain't got it like that unless he had money. Unless he's hiding money and is intentionally... Losing the condo and losing the house. Because remember, he's locked up. So he, he he can't, I mean, he can't, he's not living there. It wouldn't surprise me if Joel got some money put up somewhere. Because these guys cannot be this dumb and done spent money on these chicks to where uh, there's nothing, you know, left to pay these bills when they're not there. Because, of course, Kimbella ain't going to be able to do it. <laughs> and no teeth. <laughs> And I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's, it, it, understand this, man. You have a whole section of social media that's all about women leveling up and getting with men with money. What is that going to do? you getting with men with money. What about when the money ain't there? You know? What about when the money ain't there? When the money ain't there, are you going to stay? Are, are you going to be about struggle love? Because to me, if you look at it, this kind of is a bit of struggle love, you know. This, this is kind of a bit of struggle love, you know. You may not like it, but it's, it's some struggle love going on here. But she knows monetarily going to help her for, you know, uh, being on a reality show. But, bro, you can't have a female who's getting her body work, worked on uh, who's not putting that to use. Because I know y'all don't want to hear this. But I'm sure she's putting it to great use. You know, that's the reality, man. 
You know, just because somebody says that they love you and they're loyal doesn't mean that that loyalty won't go out the window if an opportunity don't present itself. You know, anybody who physically gets work done on themselves is usually somebody who, to me, cares more about themselves than anybody else. They care about being a bit of a pleaser. You know, they care more about getting as much attention as possible. Even if you have two million followers, you want two million more. You want to be able to compete with other women. I've noticed that Instagram changed the way their like system is, but you can still tell how many likes it is. It'll still it'll say this person liked and a thousand likes, you know. But there are women who are very concerned about that. They're very concerned that those likes have gone away and that that validation from saying that they have 100,000 likes, uh, they wouldn't be able to get that. You know, but that's to their own doing because they're about this body positivity and no shaming uh, has gotten them to where uh, you can't see those likes like you used to. And that has caused the competition to ramp up to the point to where these women are going back under the knife. I'm seeing that. Um, I'm seeing that uh, Amber Rose admitted that she's going back under the knife and she just had a kid. She just had a son, but somebody's calling me. Okay. The heezy. <laughs> anyway, she admitted that she's going back under the knife to get work done. Get like a, what she said, get like a lipo, get her tits done and get her, her assets done. And it's like, you just forgot about the gym, huh? You, you could pay a personal trainer. You could eat better. You know what I'm saying? You have resource to your disposal. You don't have to keep going on the knife, but they are in competition with each other. You know, they're in competition to see how much attention they can get. You know, what rappers or athletes will be interested in, and it's just, it's crazy. The competition is ramping up to the point to where they're going under the knife repeatedly. I talked about the Queen Nigel uh, female. Uh, Y'all know her. She's a YouTuber, singer, whatever. She's going under the knife multiple times. I don't even think she's 25 yet. You know? Um, and she ain't the only one. She ain't the only one. But the competition is getting crazy. They have to compete with anybody. Well, anybody. They have to compete with a lot of people. And um, it's to the point to where they feel like they have to go and do extra things in order to keep up the attention and validation that they can get, you know? <laughs>